Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. In the most recent episode of The Bad Batch, we saw Clone Force 99 cross paths with the deadly assassin and mercenary Fennec Shand on the planet Pantora. Fennec sought to capture Omega after an unknown individual placed a bounty on the young clone. Although we don't know yet who's placed a bounty on Omega, I think there's a very real possibility that we may see some other bounty hunters and mercenaries seek the bounty that's been placed on Omega's head. If that's the case, which other bounty hunters could we potentially see as we continue further into the season, either hunting Omega or possibly teaming up with the Bad Batch as they eventually turn to mercenary work. Let's dive into some bounty hunters we could potentially see appear this season in Star Wars The Bad Batch. For starters, let's start with one of the characters that I'm hoping to see the most, that being my homeboy Cad Bane. The dangerous and savvy Duros bounty hunter first appeared in the Clone Wars animated series and went on to appear in multiple episodes throughout the show. He last appeared in the series in the season 4 episode Crisis on Naboo, being arrested by Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Mace Windu. Do. Other than that, the only other mention of Cad Bane came in the canon comic Kanan Number 8 when the Jedi Temple bomber Rackham Seer stated that he paid a hefty sum to Cad Bane for the blueprints of the Jedi Temple. Although we don't know what happened to Cad Bane after the Jedi Temple bombing, which took place in 19 BBY, the same year Season 1 of The Bad Batch takes place in, I think it's safe to assume that Bane's still alive around that time. I think it'd be awesome to see Bane return in The Bad Batch so that we can learn about what he's been up to since we last saw him. Bane could appear seeking the bounty on Omega, but how cool would it be to see him team up with Clone Force 99? Cad Bane was one of my favorite characters to appear in the Clone Wars, so give me more Cad Bane please. Another bounty hunter that I'd love to see, and one that I think is almost certainly going to appear in the Bad Batch, is Boba Fett. The Clone Wars animated series showed Boba working his way through the criminal underworld as a bounty hunter, and he's also a clone, so revisiting Boba Fett during the rise of the Empire seems almost too good to pass up. Plus, the Clone Wars creators did create an unaired episode with Cad Bane and Boba Fett, one in which the two dueled each other, resulting in the dent in Boba Fett's helmet. So getting to see Boba Fett and Cad Bane together would be dope. At the very least, I think it's almost a lock that Boba Fett will appear at some point in The Bad Batch. With Fennec Shand having already appeared in Episode 4 of The Bad Batch, and with the Book of Boba Fett dropping later in the year, I think Boba Fett appearing in the series feels almost inevitable. I want to see our boy rocking that Mandalorian armor, baby. Like Cad Bane and Boba Fett, or a Singh is another bounty hunter we could see in the Bad Batch. She appeared in multiple episodes of The Clone Wars, and Aura Singh has worked with both Cad Bane and Boba Fett on multiple occasions, so it stands to reason that we may see the Paladuvian bounty hunter at some point in the Bad Batch as well. Aura Singh's another dope character that I'd love to see again. Some other bounty hunters who also appeared in The Clone Wars and could potentially appear in the Bad Batch are Embo, Bosk, Highsinger, Dengar, and Lots Razi. Embo is a baller, so give me some Embo. Bounty hunters who didn't appear in The Clone Wars but could appear in the Bad Batch at some point are Zuckus, Forlom, IG-88, and maybe even the Wookiee Black Kersantan. That could then open up the door for the Bad Batch to also feature some bounty hunters who have appeared in the current comic series Star Wars Bounty Hunters, such as Oris Bynor or maybe even Nakano Lash. Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters is a pretty big crossover comic event and miniseries that recently dropped, so it wouldn't surprise me if we saw some comic-only characters make the jump to the small screen to drum up hype for War of the Bounty Hunters and the Bounty Hunters comics. There's also the possibility that we even see some new Bounty Hunter characters appear in the Bad Batch as well, which I'm all for and is cool with me. As we can see, the possibilities on where the Bad Batch can go and who we could potentially see appear in the series is almost endless. There's just so many amazing characters and storylines that the show's developers could craft into the series and I'd be open to any or all of them. As Season 1 of the Bad Batch progresses, I'm super excited to see what the remainder of the season has in store for us and what other characters characters will get to see appear. But what do you guys think? Which bounty hunters would you like to see appear in the Bad Batch? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.